Alafia, aho, I say namaste. And thank you for watching Shadow of Wolves with blessings. Ma ferefun elegua, as today is Monday. Ma ferefun olofi, ma ferefun olodumare, ma ferefun olorum, ma ferefun orisha, and blessings to all spirit guides and spirits and ancestors of light and blessings to all of you. You have asked, here is the video. What is Estera? Be careful with scammers. Be careful, be careful. Never ever will I DM you, direct message, try to look for you through email for a reading consultation or anything. Those who need a consultation or need certain lessons that I am able to give you, especially based on your initiation, but spiritual lessons, please look in my description box. I will never ever reach out to you in respect to solicitation. I don't do that, okay? Let's go in to the purpose of Estera, okay? As we're going into what is an Estera, what is the straw mat known as Ani, okay? What is the divine purpose of this mat. In Yoruba faith, it is also known as Koriko, okay, which means grass, hay, mat. Before we go into Lukumi and we talk about Yoruba faith, Santeria, Ifa, and the purpose of the mat and how it really goes a lot deeper than what is seen with your human eyes. And sometimes, what has been taught, okay? The mat not only represents, in using the term estera in Lukumi, in Hispanic language, interestingly enough, it is also related to the goddesses of fertility. Ishtar, stara, estera. It is related to the astrals, but what does that also mean? It's also related to fertility in giving birth as a Yahweh sits and sleeps on the throne for seven, seven nights, seven days on the Estera. Not only in our culture, in Lukumi, does it represent the stability of the throne. And it is a very, very holy practice of giving arimus and offerings but also, Estera is also related to names given in Poland, in Yugoslavia, and around the world, as Estera is also commonly used in giving children names in the Romanian culture, also in Babylonian times. So not only does this signify birth, life, and death, and is so sacred as everything that go, grows from the trees, grows from the ground, in blessing of love and fertility of Aphrodite, but the purity of the Virgin Mary, the purity of the Virgin Mary. What was Yeshua said? Some say Jesus, Yeshua, said to be placed in. There was hay, there was growth. Estera is very holy. The purity of the Virgin Mary. So this is the reason when you are in a house of Ifa, Lukumi, Yoruba, and all sacred homes, it could be of different faiths, this is never, it is so disrespectful to step on the ani, ani, the straw mat, the stera, with your shoes on. When we have to give thanks, we throw ourselves in front of the orisha. It could be the orisha of your elder. It could be your own Orisha. In my case, it is my father, my crown, Ochosi. And when I throw to other Orishas, my Ferefun, Elegua, Ogun, Chango, all Orishas, 
we normally take the mat, we roll it out, and we lay, and we mafaribai, and we throw, and we pray. So the estera is very sacred. Not only are there ceremonies for seven days for who we call the Yavo, those who are crowned in Orisha faith, and they are birth. So only, not only does the Stera mean birth and giving birth, because we present the Arimus, the Yabo, that is where the Yabo is presented, that is where the ceremony, and it is sacred for seven days. So do understand and understand and overstand the purpose of the Stera is not only when the Yabo is there, it also represents, in using the term any, it is the meaning of the bride that will never go barren. Now, that doesn't mean that if a Yabo, some say Yabo, in your Yabadahe, the person decides to get crowned at 80 years old, it has not much to do in terms of giving physical birth, but it also relates to you being the stepping stone after you are crowned in Orisha faith of one whole year in sacrificing and seven days in wearing white, three months to sit on the eni, the straw mat, the steda, and eat and be humble and be close to your ancestors and Mother Earth. But it also represents and signifies giving birth through your intellect, giving birth through the karakos, giving birth. Those of you, maferefuni fa, when you are throwing the epole and giving birth to your knowledge and your grace. So what did I mean by some things that have been learned and some things that have not been learned? Well, this is why we must also listen to those elders we call lagua lagua, why? Elders can die with their secrets. They can die with so much knowledge if we don't just keep saying, I know, I know, yeah, yeah, I know that. It's the worst thing you can do because even if you know, there could be a sentence or two minutes of a conversation in staying humble and just listening. So back then, every year when it is, they say your santo birthday, your Ocha birthday, the day that you were crowned in Orisha faith, they used to open the Eni, the Stera, and they will humbly sleep on the floor in front of their Orisha. Every year, they would go the day before they were crowned and they would sleep with that Orisha and giving reverence and respect to the day they started their Yabrahe. The steda is very, very sacred. So this is why sometimes we have it in different colors. Like for my Ocha birthday and blessings to Ochozi, I would have his colors in a big steda that I keep really, really sacred. This one has, with all blessing, has a lot of ache, been beat up, used in terms of beat up, prayed on, thrown out for my godchildren, thrown, I mean opened for my godchildren, thrown open, for the Orisha, I put my Arimos, I put my, my candles and my coconuts and so forth. When I open it and I throw it out to the floor, I'm opening for the worlds of the Orisha to come in and we sit our Orisha on the Estera when it is under the throne, when the Orishas are under the throne. So the Estera also means as below and when the throne is built as above, we are what is in between. So giving birth is not just, oh, let me see who I can crown, how many, it's not about that. It really isn't. It is about giving birth to love, giving birth to unity, giving birth to knowledge to those who deserve and respect your time and energy of your knowledge. So let's see if there's anything else that I have left out in terms of the Estera being also the Ashe of Orisha. Everything natural is the Ashe of Orisha. So this is why we don't put perfumes in our Orisha. We don't put makeup. We don't put 
everything we should know by now, the Ashe of the Orisha, given that we know that Efun is one, Oni is the other, Oti is the other, Cocoa butter, Ori, and so forth. This is the Ashe of Orisha. The Steta is very, very sacred. And not only do we give birth when we're doing the bead ceremony, after we do certain things, when the person, the initiate, becomes what we call an Aleo. That is the new initiate of Orisha faith that is not crowned yet. They are an Aleo. They have gone through their beads ceremony. Even that requires an Estera in front of the Orishas with all blessing. So do know, I pray that you find this video helpful. I believe everything was really covered. It's amazing how everything is connected with life and death and with cultures around the world with blessings to you. And if you have questions or comments, please leave it here or you can reach me in the description above. And do know that it is important, once again, they said it, it was the letter of the year. Be careful with scammers. There are people now using my page, my pictures, stealing videos. That's between them and Alo Dumare. I just don't want you guys to be fooled and giving away money to something in the air and someone pretending to be me. It's impossible. You should always confirm through phone call, text message, let me know, I will speak to you. I do my videos and my reading on video call like this. So be careful, be careful with scammers. And in blessing, congratulations to my godson. He is now past his year and seven days. He has been introduced to the Anya. I'm thankful also for his padrino, Maferifun Obatala, Maferifun, that we crowned him Oya, Maferifun Oya, in blessings to his Ori, his spiritual path, even the honor to see him and to lift him from the floor of the Stera when he was eating and introduce him to the mirror was such a beautiful ceremony, absolutely beautiful. These seven days are very important, the year and seven days. This is why when we throw Obi on the Stera, because the Orisha has given us the Ache after we get crowned, to be able to divine with that Obi. Obi should not be used by Eleos before then, far less Yawos, unless they have completed their year and seven days and their Ebometa. There's a purpose for everything, but the real purpose is the Yawo was introduced to the Obi when they were crowned. So it's according to your house. But everything is a process. When the epole, we can't just say, oh, give me the epole, let me try and, and divine with E5. We don't, we're not Baba Laos. Same way in Santeria, the shells are introduced, consecrated and blessed, and they are introduced to us when we are crowned. Everything walks with the rites of passage. This is why this faith is not for everyone with all blessings. Alafia, aho, I say, namaste, and many thanks to you, Ache.